Alright guys, this is a video about Oya, I believe. A failed system, I, got, I think, guys. Let's, let's check it out. What if you could push a button? Nice, got a good old, uh, you know, innovative, you know, animated kind of intro. Hey, that helps uh, get a lot of views, right, guys? And reset the oh. entire Whoa. video game industry. Dog, what is this? Oya is a new game console for the television. More, more For the television? Oh, what? what else could it be for? Nowadays, it's for like monitors, um, a lot more often than just the television, guys. Like, what they said for the television, people are guys. It's not like the it's not like the early 2000s no more. Moving away. And, and the whole the, the whole uh, it's not prior like 2015 no more. Like, from the television, anybody that wants to develop a game for a television, so there's a lot of hurdles for developers to get games onto the television. I love the television and I want those games on the television. You have a relationship with the games on the television, guys. What? Television and what's coming at you. The project having successfully received eight and a half million dollars of funding. I Bro, eight have. I don't. Because we need we need uh, video games on the television, right, guys? Who, who doesn't want video games on television? Television, television, television. <laughs> I think the majority of people are gonna buy it. When Topolsky asked Julie Ehrman, "Is there a game that you feel like is gonna be the game yet?" that brings this to when people see it, they're like, oh, I have to, I'm gonna spend the 99 bucks because I have to play this game. She looked off stage and she was like, what's the name of the one that I was playing? Um, Stalag Fight. The company has also- Bro, that is not- I've never heard of a game called Stalag Fight. What is that, bro? Also received Wait, is that a real game? That, that kind of sounds like it would pop off. An additional 15 million in venture capital funding. There is nothing special about this board. Nothing, like nothing. Right? You, don't, you, don't, by the way, you don't hear a lot of uh, people when they're promoting their product. <laughs> say pick that it up and pick it up and say there's, there's nothing special there's about nothing. this. The company Bro, is that, was that the console? What? I'm sorry, that's not a console. That's like a... looks like a, a Rubik's Cube almost, bro. Is that the future, guys? Maybe if it like projected an image or something. Like, like those, those uh, futuristic movies or something which owns and operates the E3 Expo, called the Los Angeles Police Department yesterday in an attempt to shut down Ouya's public presence at E3 2013. How many have you sold? A lot. Can you give me a, a range? A lot. Like... Dang, bro, she... She's getting interviewed in front of a lot of people and she's... No, she doesn't want to... Let out uh, sales figures here, guys. Uh, you're not going to tell me a number? No, I'm not. Either. The Ouya... With, with the full bottle of water just chilling there as well. Android console was supposed to ship to Kickstarter supporters in March. But as of today, many of those supporters have yet to receive their console. Ouya has pushed back the launch date of its console system until- Bro, anyone- I have not heard of this, bro. That's so- it looks so- Kind of uncanny, guys. Like, like one of those controllers- the One of those third-party controllers that uh, you'd buy from, like, uh, you know, Amazon or something. On June 25th which is three weeks later than when it was originally supposed to ship. I bought it. It's the Ouya console. Whoa. Dreamt by gamers designed. They actually released it, guys. They released it. Let's go. In California. Ouya comes with what you need to get coding and get famous. The little box inside this box has big dreams. The controller just pops out, so I don't recommend opening it up like that. Bro. It's actually a console. Let's go. Oh my gosh. So begins. Hey, it looks like a high, a good build quality, right, guys? Not, not that bad of a build quality, I think. Revolution. And so Old begins. Move. Old move. The revolution. Uh, thank you for believing. It's probably in here for the Kickstarter. Here's where all the extra Kickstarter money they got went to. The company. I know, right? <laughs> That's kind of cheap packaging. That's just a bunch of filler packaging. It looks like, guys, and then like a a, a nicely cut out thing. And as soon as you open the box, you know. Gets the dopamine, uh, feeling. It gets the dopamine going because you, you. It's like, oh, new, new, new device. Hey, welcome card. Never seen that. He says the launch is delayed because it needs more time to meet high retail demand. The Ouya is a joke. Ouya. Bro, hundred dollars. Hey, at least they got it in the stores, right, guys? 
That's a huge thing, bro. Mr. Beast got stuff in the store. The CEO also said the company's making adjustments to improve the controller. The most important part of this to us is the controller. We really focus a lot on what gamers are looking for. Precise controls, tactility, right sizing. Our controller has a touchpad. You're not going to find that somewhere else. Um, oh, snap. They got a touchpad so you can use it like a laptop or something. And the reality well, the is... New, the new PlayStation 4 controller has a touchpad. Oh. Oops. Touchpad, That's true. It? They could build it for that. <laughs> Oops. So, the, guys, I didn't even know PlayStation 4 controllers had a touchpad. Wait, Ryo's what? The controller is awful. The buttons routinely stick after hours, even minutes of use. Did you just take off part of the controller? Okay, that's kind of innovative. It's like a Nintendo Switch, but it's not a Nintendo Switch. Nothing can beat the Nintendo Switch has patent on it, guys. Right trigger was stuck and had to be pried loose. It feels very cheaply made. The D-pad is stiff and kind of... Yeah, definitely third-party controller uh, kind of eyes, man. Responsive. It has started... You can't really trust a startup to make a good product, man. Not that often. ...to wear from only... It had to be backed by billion dollar corporations, right guys? I don't know. There are some uh, Kickstarters that actually have some good handhelds though guys, not gonna lie. About a week of use. But this, this Ouya stuff? This Ouya stuff? The controller- what, what games does it even play? Does it even play? Is it its own console? I have no clue. ...itself is $50. The controller is literally half the price of the system! There we go. Bro, are you serious? A new account, here we go. A payment? I know, this right? is not a great way to start, <laughs> Ouya. Let me yeah, just put, make that perfectly clear. Sony fucking gets hacked all the time, and we're gonna trust Ouya with your information? <laughs> yeah, right. Ouya was made to be opened, so hardware hackers can mess- uh, It's like some inter- like a modular kind of thing, right? It's around with it. And the other big addition is the fan, so mm -hmm. that you can really crank performance of these games. Right. With over 600 games, free oh, to snap. try. They got some Final Fantasy, they got uh, some ROMs. Uh, Sonic is the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. What is that, guys? For everyone. There are no games on the Ouya. 99% of these apps are just little clones of Candy Crush and Angry Birds. It's Mike Tyson on a motorcycle. What more can you ask for? Bro, what is this? A Flash game, bro? If I wanted a Flash game, I'd open up some Flash games on a browser back when I liked these kind of Flash games. The okay. caliber of games is also lacking. Many are good for 20 minutes of novelty, but I found myself getting bored quickly. It looks like a, a knockoff uh, Sonic, man. And never revisiting. <laughs> Can't believe this actually was a thing, guys. I never heard of it. No. 60 bucks? Ugh, this game sucked. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Literally projectile, but okay. 60 bucks? Oh. I could have bought food! Bro. What did I just watch right there, man? Ooh yeah! We created. Oh uh, man, it makes me sick. Gateway to the independent gaming revolution. Just so rain. And that's all it is. Is just it's just rain on your screen, just like that. Really? Hey, if I wanted something to fall asleep on, I could just pull up. Just rain, guys. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> what? What's uh, going on over absolutely here? Absolutely, check it out. Wait, wait, wait. What is going yeah, on? Absolutely. What is yeah. happening? Check we believe that every single game you should try before you buy. The Oya no longer requires games to be free to play. Now this latest change feels like another kick in the teeth for Kickstarter backers, as a free to try feature was one of the main selling points of the console. It's slow, and it's not working that well, and everything just seems off. This Dog, yeah, you gotta get like customer support and stuff. Oh my gosh, for eight million dollars? Settings, you'll see it's entirely unchanged from what you would find on your phone. It yeah, running Android freaking a mod, a uh, slightly modded version of Android. If they do not give, hey, uh, some 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 handhelds still run that. It's, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but give me a fix for it this week. I will. This they they might be trying to make it a meme at this point, guys. I film myself pissing on the Ouya. Oh. <laughs> Like many of the games that are on the system, the Ouya is very rough. It's unfinished. We just have to rethink television gaming. It's about taking advantage of the most immersive device we have with the best controller. Talking with the hands. It, it portrays confidence, right guys? And creating a new experience. Hey, she seems passionate about it though, for sure. And we, that's what we like seeing.
Ouya is now on the auction block. It is horribly in debt, and it has made no money. Wait, how are they in debt now? And you know she, you know she probably pocketed like a million or something, right? It is screwed. They're gonna have to sell the company to make money to refund the investors. So basically, what happened is Razor. Dang, bro. Bought Ouya. Oh, jeez. Razor bought. Yeah. Yeah. After a few months of rumors regarding Ouya's future, CEO and co-founder Julie Ehrman revealed the acquisition on Twitter day. Ehrman also hinted at her own. And she pitched an uh, Android console. Now she sold it to like a billion dollar corporation. Guys, what happened to the Ouya? Departure from the company, stating, "Quote: Ouya was once in a lifetime experience. Now I'm off to find the next. Stay tuned." Best joke of the year: the Ouya. <laughs> Bro, that's cool, man. She she sold the company. <laughs> Yeah, for an undisclosed disclosed amount of money as well, because we do not know how much she made. Imagine if you could press a button and reset an entire industry. Oh man. <laughs> Alright guys, that's a video. Peace out everyone. See you guys next one. Later guys.